In the last video, we added an interactive timeline to slice our data by date. In this video, we're going to look at how to utilize hyperlinks to link between other sheets in the document. So let's say we want to look at not just our top 20 selling products, but we want to continue looking at more, but we just don't have room on this dashboard. So what we can do is create a hyperlink to the page that contains the, the full list, so the top products list. Obviously, we'd format this page better if we wanted to include it as an accessible part of our dashboard, but we can still link to it now. We'll show you how to do that in this video. First, let's just type in more top sellers and a couple arrows, and we'll right click on the cell and click hyperlink. We can link it to an existing file or web page, which is useful for drill down to other files or linking to obviously websites. What we're going to do right now is to another place in the document. So we're going to use the cell reference to the top product sheet, which is the sheet we just looked at. And we'll click, actually let's add a screen tip. So we can say link to more top sellers or more top selling products. So click, click to see more top selling products, and then make sure top products is selected and choose OK. So now if we mouse over this, it should say click to see more top selling products. If we click it, it'll take us to the top products page. Now functionally, we'd like to put a link here that says go back to the dashboard. We just showed you how to do that. So you can do it later if you'd like. Now let's make this cell a little bit more visible. We'll change the font color to white, make it bold, but it's still got that pesky underline, which makes it a little hard to read, and we've already got our arrows there to indicate it's a link. So let's go ahead and change the cell style of our hyperlinks. We'll right click and choose modify. And this is the only way to remove the hyperlink underline. So the cell style includes the font, so we can just disable the font and click OK. And now we can just remove the underline that way, or we could go into the cell styles, hyperlink, modify, and actually change whether or not it was underlined here, and the whole look and feel of all the hyperlinks on the document. So now we've got a valid link to our top products worksheet. So in this video, we looked at how to set up and format a hyperlink. 